Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Supporters of American Pickers are against dealing with clowns. Mike59 posted a picture of two strange dolls that were found inside his Leclerc, Iowa, antique archaeology store. Two miniatures of clowns gaze at the camera with beady eyes in the Instagram picture. The clowns' jaws widened as they exhibited their rust-covered bodies and peeling paint. Mike penned, yuck. Chiesta Halloween fans expressed dissatisfaction with the eerie picture of frightening clowns in the comments sections. Nope, one critic remarked, very eerie. A second critic said, I detest clowns. A third reviewer made the comment, Clowns are scary. They simply are. One further comment reads, Creepy but cool. Someone else said, There's something wrong with you. But it's all right. I also have a problem with myself. Something in this place is a crude joke, right? The TV personality has shared posts about clowns before. Look for the CLO Lunes. The History Channel personality has shared his most creepy selections, which include a paper mesh clown on his antique business blog. Does anyone recognize the clown on the left? The text asked. Mike bought it in upstate New York, as you saw in season 7. To welcome guests, the paper mesh clown head was once placed atop a circus sign. That same pic was off with the bozo clown head on the right. Although Mike has been trying to draw more clients to his antique archaeology store, he has not been successful in doing so. The Vintage Shop The 58-year-old celebrity is the owner of Antique Archaeology, which has shops in Nashville, Tennessee, and Leclerc, Iowa. According to an exclusive revelation by the U.S. Sun, Mike has been selling items from his business rather than genuine antiques. Was really disappointed, an unhappy consumer wrote on Google reviews. We drove this road specifically for this experience, and we made this a special stop on our way home. The majority of the little shops in both buildings are gift shops that sell their own goods. Picked up a $3 memento item, but charged $9 for it. And where is it for as much as Mike and the crew decide? This is more of a souvenir shop for the show, said a different patron. Not a great deal of antiques. Customers also voiced complaints about the small space in the middle of October. The store was crammed with stuff and enormous antiques, including a motorcycle, as seen in the images that the U.S. Sun received. A disgruntled consumer said, It costs about $10 for novelty stuff. Had anticipated a larger store, very little and claustrophobic. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and stay with us.